Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a dedicated masterclass about how to open anterior abdominal wall for cases such as total abdominal hysterectomy, lower segment caesarean section and also other exploratory procedures for pelvic pathologies by taking fan and stills incision. So before actually starting with the surgical procedure, I would like to tell everyone that anterior abdominal wall has a very complex structure. It is made up of nine different layers such as skin, subcutaneous tissues. Subcutaneous tissues are further divided into superficial campus fascia and the deeper scarpus fascia. External oblique muscle, internal oblique muscle, transversus abdominis muscle, transversalis fascia and the innermost layer is the parietal peritoneum. So in this particular video, I will demonstrate how to dissect all these layers one by one and which technique is to be followed for efficient opening of the anterior abdominal wall. So as we all know, abdomen is given a financials incision. Financials incision is to be given approximately 2 to 2.5 cm above the pubic symphysis. After giving the incision, I have used the cautery so you can see how fluently I can divide the abdominal wall structures by using the monopolar cautery. So after opening the skin and the subcutaneous fat, now I am trying to open the rectus sheath. So as you can see on the screen, I have applied alleys at the superior margins of the rectus sheath and I am using a combination of blunt and sharp dissection. Always remember, in cases of previous surgical history, one should rely more on the sharp dissection. But in cases of virgin abdomens, such as the past, such as if the patient is not having any past history of abdominal surgery, then definitely blunt dissection is to be preferred over sharp dissection. So as you can see, I have catch hold of the superior margin of the rectus sheath and using the blunt dissection, I am pushing the rectus muscle down and trying to create an appropriate plane of dissection. So as you can see, I have almost dissected the superior margin of rectus from the rectus abdominis muscle and after that I will now shift to the lower margin of rectus sheath. So as you can see after finishing the superior margin now I have applied the alice forceps to the inferior margin of rectus sheath and again as I have already explained by using a combination of blunt and sharp dissection I will try to dissect the rectus sheath from the rectus abdominis muscle. So always remember the more you dissect the rectus sheath the more space you will get while performing the abdominal hysterectomy and also do not excessively cut or miss the right plane of dissection otherwise your rectus will lose the strength and post-operatively it might cause complications such as post-operative hernias etc. After opening the rectus sheath now next step is to separate the rectus muscle and followed by separation of the peritoneum. So as we all know rectus muscle is to be separated by blunt dissection only followed by separation of peritoneum. So as you have already seen I have applied the artery forceps 
and I have gently opened the abdomen. So I will now ask my assistant to insert his fingers and stretch the peritoneum. I will carefully examine the normal extent of bladder and using monopolar cautery and a combination of blunt dissection, I will cut the peritoneum. So that marks the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you.